are watching. Fall afresh upon us. Yes. Right now, God. Touch every heart right now. God that are watching right now. God touch them right now. God we claim miracles, deliverance, and healing. We claim, oh God, through the power of God that they be healed in Jesus' name. God we claim through the authority of Jesus' name. Yes. Deliverance. That's it. Somebody need deliverance on, tonight. Right now. That's good. Somebody need to be healed right now. On, we speak God. for healing in the name of Jesus. God, we speak for cancer, cancer demon, to lose God people, loose, loose right now, we, right now, take your hands off of God people, we command every demon spirit, to take your hands off of God people, God we claim a revival right now, oh God all around the world, God in Asia, oh God in China and India, we speak for revival, God, we speak for the anointed revival to move like never before. The Spirit of God to move, to break yokes, to destroy the ways of the devil, destroy demon forces. Oh, Holy Spirit, we command family to be knit back together. We command, oh God, people to give their heart to the Lord. God, we see people giving their heart to the Lord by the thousands. They bow down before God. And said yes to Jesus, revival. yes to the blood, revival, revival. in the Lord, revival in the Lord, because the Holy Ghost is moving like now before. Oh, Holy Ghost, move in 2020, move in a great way, destroy every wake of the devil, every hindering spirit, every demon force, every witchcraft, every lion spirit. Every demon spirit, do it now, Holy Spirit. Do it now, one more come time. On, come on, come on. Do it in the life. Do it in the life come on, come on, come on. of the young man. Young man will give the heart to the Lord. Young man will put on the marijuana. They'll put on the alcohol yes. and live up Jesus on, and live up the word of God. Man. Young man, young man will turn to Jesus. They'll turn to Jesus. The word of God said, I call you young man because you're strong. I want to say something. Use your strength. Holy Spirit, help the young man to use their strength yes. for the Lord. Use their strength for Jesus. Use their strength to cast out demons. Use their strength to lay hands upon the sick. Yes. Use yes. their strength to do the works of the Lord. Yes. Use their strength to walk with God. To speak God's way. Throw down alcohol. Throw down the sweet argument. Straight down. And turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Holy Spirit. Rest upon them. Rest upon them. God, you said in your way that the harvest is plenty. Yes. And the laborers are few. God, we pray right now. God, that you send laborers into the vineyard. Yes. Oh God, Heavenly Father, God all around the world, by the thousands, yes. by the millions, yes. we claim laborers to go forth in the vineyard, in the vineyard, in the vineyard, in the vineyard. Yes, Holy Spirit, do it one more time. Do it one more time, Jesus. Do it one more time. Do it. Do it, Holy Spirit. Do it one more time. Let your spirit move. Let your anointing move. Yes. Let the power of God move. Oh, Holy, oh, Ghost. Holy Ghost. Move. Move right now. Move right now. Move, Holy Spirit. Move. We claim that the Holy Spirit, that the power of God, that the anointing of God, move like never before in 2020. That the power of God move. Oh, Kona Basada. Move like never before Whoa. in 2020. That's move, it. Spirit of God. Move. Move, move Spirit of God. Move. move. Break down the walls of the devil. Break down the wicked spirit. Break down every invisible wall. Break down the demonic traps. Every trap of the devil. Break it down. We break it down. We break it down. On, we break up every trap that's set up by the devil. Every trap the devil set up, we broke it down. 
We command it to be broke down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabbi Shanda, Rabbi Kodiya, Rabbi Shanda. Devil, we break your power. We find the ways of the devil. The word of God said, whatsoever we find on earth, shall be bound in heaven. Right now, we find the ways of the devil. We stop it. We stop every tender and spirit. We stop every demon assigned to hinder God's people. We stop it in Jesus' name. Every tender and spirit, every wicked spirit, every lying spirit, every demon spirit, every demon assigned to steal from God's people. We curse you. Every generational curse. We destroy generational curse. Every bloodline curse. We destroy it. We destroy it in Jesus' name. The bloodline curse. The generational curse. Every generational curse. Generational curse. God, we go way down. God, we go way down to the third and the twentieth generation. And we command the demons, devils, and evil spirits, the witches and warlocks, the lying spirit and the chief of spirit. We command them to the part of the blood of Jesus to take your hands off of God's people. Take it off. Take it off your homes. Take it off your homes. Those right now. Those. God, we command homes to set free. We command those who will receive cars to receive their cars. Those that receive husband will receive their husband. Those that will receive their wives will receive their wives. We command demons, devils, and witches to turn loose. Turn loose. We command to turn loose. Turn loose God's property. Turn loose in the name of Jesus. Turn loose. Hey! Turn loose. Turn loose. Turn loose. Turn loose. Turn loose. God's property. Hey! Every demon spirit. Turn loose. 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 God's property. Take your hands off it. Take your filthy out of it. Take your devil. Take it off. Take it off of God's property. Now. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. In the name of Jesus. Take it off. In the name of Jesus. Every demon spirit. Every demon spirit. You may have been there for months. You may have been there for months. But now we command to leave. Leave. As this year is coming to the end. We command every curse, every demon, every witch to take their hands off. We command to go. We curse your power. We break it. We break it. We break it. Loosen. We break it. Loosen. In the name of Jesus. Loose yes. The yes, they're going. Take it to go. The blood defeat you. The blood of Jesus defeat you. The blood of Jesus destroy your works. Satan. Satan. The blood of Jesus. Destroy your work. The blood of Jesus destroy the works of the devil. The witches. The witches. The warlock, the evil spirit, on, the tormented spirit, on, the wicked demon, on, the word of God, destroy you. The spirit of God, destroy you. The name of Jesus, destroy you. The blood of Jesus, destroy you. You have no authority. Oh, she got the other one, Sunday. We speak God way. We speak, and yes, you got to go. Yes. The, the demons got to go. The yes, the witches the got to go. The the yes, the warlock got to go. You got to go. You got to go and be no more. You got to go and be no more. Demons, devils, and witches. Take up your bag and leave. Take up your bag now and leave. Every demon, every devil, every curse. I see curse being broken. Be broken. I see generational curse yes. that's been there for a long time. Be broken in the I name see of generational Jesus. curse being destroyed. Be broken. Oh God, of of son, I see the Holy Ghost yes, destroying Ghost. every work Come of the on, devil, destroying every demon Come force, on, Holy destroying Holy every witchcraft. On, I see Ghost. the Holy Ghost destroying every plan the devil set up on, to kill, steal, and destroy. On, I see the Holy Ghost destroying. The works of the devil, the demons, the witches. Yes, you set up to kill God, people. Yes, you set up to stir, bring confusion. But God, in His power, and His Spirit, and His anointed, 
is against you. Against you. Against you. Come on, Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is against you. Yes. We break every lion spirit to see yes. that. We break every yes. teeth and spirit. Yes. We break every teeth and spirit. Yes. Send. 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 Will not dominate us. Send. No. Send the Lord. Send dominate us. In the name of Jesus. Send demons and witches. They will not dominate the people of God. No. Hey. Oh God, right now you said in your word yes. that you have placed all things, principalities and power and wicked spirit. God, you have placed them under our feet. God, we command demons and devils and witches and principalities and evil spirit to take their place under our feet. That's where you belong, under our feet. Yes. The way the God said we shall trample and serpent and scorpion. In the name of Jesus, God help us. Yes, Help us uh, stay in our position. You. God, you said in your way that you have placed us in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. God, you have placed us there. Help us, oh God, to be seated where you place us in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We have been seated in heavenly places. That's where we live. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi Shandalabu Oh, Holy Spirit, we love you. Thank you. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. Hallelujah. Oh, just turn that up a little bit. If you're just watching us, we are in our prophetic service 2019. Hallelujah. What the day is? December what? 28, 2019, Kingdom Apostolic. As we come, we have the prophets ready. We have the intercessors. We've been praying. That was Pastor Kerry interceding. As we continue to intercede and worship, hallelujah. We're going to sing this one song. Come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. Come on, give the Lord praise. Amen. Oh, honey, if you're listening or watching, we have a prophetic word. Stay on. Join us. Share with us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Next, coming up next is Prophetess Shalewa Kali. But we're going to worship the Lord for this one song and then get on she has a word from the Lord Amen. a door is in you Father we thank you that you are exalted hallelujah Lord I give you my heart I give you my soul I live for you alone Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my heart. Father, we just worship you. Come on, let me be a voice. Come on, tell me you love it. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless you. Oh, every moment. Oh, Lord, have your way. Lord, as we bring this year to close, we say, have your way. My desire is it yours today to honor you. Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. Oh. As we worship, the power of the Spirit is going to flow. Hallelujah. Is in you, is in you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I give you my heart. Come on, tell it. I give you my soul. I live for you. Every breath that I take. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, let's honor Him. Lord, oh, we come into your presence. Oh, 
serving the Lord in so many capacities. But I want to thank the Lord for her life today as she comes. Shalewa Kali, prophetess, a wife, a mother, a spiritual mother, a pastor, an intercessor, a leader, truly a woman of God who has manifested and continues to manifest the power of God in her life. So today, without further ado, put your hands together and bless the Lord for Prophetess Shalewa Kali as she delivers what thus said the Lord, my wife and partner in ministry. In Jesus' name, come on, bless the Lord for her. Bless Amen. The Lord, the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Let's jump right in. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord God, for this year because we know, Father God, that there's a time and season for everything, Lord God. And so some of us, Lord God, who would have faced every season, Lord God, that we could have think, we could have thought of and still facing them, Lord God. 
We give you praise, glory, and honor anyway, Lord God, because we know that you are the God that lifted us up from the merry clay, Lord Amen. God, and causes us to inherit a seat of honor sitting among kings and princes, Lord God. And we know that the, we serve a mighty and powerful God. And so, Father, we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Let the people of God say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. My respect, hallelujah, to the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, the Spirit of the living God that is in this place, hallelujah. hallelujah. And wow, isn't he moving, hallelujah. Can you feel him? Yes. Hallelujah today. I know I can feel him, hallelujah, in my spirit, hallelujah. I am so free, glory be to the name of the Lord. I am celebrating, hallelujah, all that he is doing at this time and season, I also want to give my respect, hallelujah, to the head of this uh, household, this assembly apostle, Dr. Kalafo Kali, my husband, hallelujah, and all of you members, uh, pastors, ministers, fivefold leaders in your respective places, I want to greet you all, hallelujah, those of you who are here, those of you who are watching, I want to greet you all in the mighty and matchless name, hallelujah, of Jesus. How many of you know that the Lord God who we serve is powerful yes. and mighty? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Hallelujah. How many of you know that he is powerful? Hallelujah. And he is a mighty God. Yes. There is nothing, hallelujah, that our God cannot do. And so it is knowing this today, knowing the victory that we have in Christ, that I come before you. Yes. Hallelujah. For the Lord to use me. Glory be to the name of the Lord to bless, hallelujah, your soul and to break up, hallelujah, some things, hallelujah, that have held you for so long so that you can be free and have victory, hallelujah. Amen. I come with an anointing, hallelujah, to break, Amen. hallelujah, today, not by my power, not by my spirit, hallelujah, but by the spirit. Hallelujah of the Lord, I come. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Not by my might, sorry, not by my power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. yes. And on this final uh, Saturday of the year 2019, our uh, end of year, annual end of year prophetic <clears throat> service. Yes. My topic for today is let the God of power reign yes. in your life. And for the past week, as I pondered and wondered and uh, searched the scripture and took some time to hear from the Lord, I, I just couldn't write anything until he gave a release to me on last evening. And he said, this is what I want you to say. Hallelujah. And I just begin to write. So I'm just going to let the Lord use me on this prophetic time. Hallelujah. Yes. While I'm here under this prophetic, hallelujah, mantle. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In 2019 and prior... Many of us was holding on to baggages that weighed us down. It weighed down our body. It yes. weighed down our soul. It weighed down our spirit. It is time to throw yes. them away, says the Lord. The persons who hurt you, the persons who harmed you physically and verbally, my, 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 my. Yes. It is time to throw, hallelujah, them away. I'm talking about the baggages Hallelujah, hail. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Yes. As a holy and sanctified, as you convince yourself and you know that yes. you are deep down, hallelujah, I want to encourage you that some of the reasons why yes. you're not going forward and you're not breaking through is because some things you need to throw away, yes. hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And yes. I prophetically speak that you will have the power Hallelujah, to lift up everything that is not of God, that is burning you down, that you don't have the power to stand, hallelujah, to lift up, to uproot, and to cast out by the anointing yes. of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the God who is omnipotent, who have all power, and who has given all power unto us. Be empowered now in the mighty and powerful name yes. of Jesus to begin to uproot, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Some of us, it doesn't matter what we would have done. Hallelujah. Deep down, we feel unclean. Amen. Deep down, hallelujah, you do righteous deeds. 
day in and day out. Hallelujah. But all of your righteous deeds are like polluted garments. <clears throat> Glory be to the name yes. of the Lord. You know, this uh, for this, this past six months, I should say, of 2019, apart from the storm, because that in itself was an experience. Glory yes. be to the name of the Lord. But when we talk about experience and human nature, man, I was reminded, I know that over the years, and as the word of God said about regarding being apostle and the apostolic life and the apostolic way, sometimes you are counted or most times you are counted as nothing. Yes. Amen. Among others, it doesn't matter what you would have do, what you would have done. Amen. What you continue to do. Hallelujah for yes. others. When we think of human nature, hallelujah, yes. at the same people you would have done yes. so many things for, they turn around and they despise you. Uh -huh. They turn around and act like you never done anything. Hallelujah oh for God. them. I was reminded of this person by someone told me, this person who they ministered to, I, myself, and, and this person ministered, hallelujah, to a particular young lady, hallelujah, when no one, glory be to the name of the Lord, was by our side. No one was supporting her ambition and what the Lord has done and what the Lord was doing, but we saw it and we stood up and we said, it's time to go forward, it doesn't matter we stand with you and that person told me as they see this young lady hallelujah who was like a few steps ahead of them somewhere the young lady held up her head and yes. turned and went the next way That's as it. though hallelujah she never met him and he had never glory be to the name of the lord done anything hallelujah for her amen sometime yes. you give hallelujah and it's not food and things that you would have done to strangers people who are who you are you have an encounter with every day yes you feed them on the job hallelujah glory be to the name of the lord you drop them off and you pick them up if they have an extra place to go an additional place you would take the time out of your schedule and you would go and take them there but yet still all that you do Amen. Glory be to the name of the Lord. It's like a polluted garment. Oh my God. Come on. And this comes from the word of God in Isaiah 64 and 6. Hallelujah. So you see where I'm backing this up with spiritual Bridge, man. The Bridge. scripture. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. The word. Everything is like a polluted garment. But this is expected. Hallelujah. In this time and in this season. As the end of the ages draw near. And we know that man will become lovers of themselves. That's but it. I come to open your eyes this afternoon to let you know, hallelujah, think it not strange that these things happen, hallelujah, to you. Sometimes, yes, you're going to feel a way. Not that you're doing things to get praise, amen? But hallelujah, you want to be happy and you want to celebrate sometimes with those, hallelujah, who you know because of your prayers and your time and what the Lord showed you and what you did, hallelujah, by the power of the Almighty God for the amen. person. Sometimes you want to yes. celebrate with them, hallelujah. You know, you want to stand, you know, especially when you're not a selfish person, Glory be to the name of the Lord. You want to celebrate with them what the Lord has done. Yes. But yet still they have the celebration. Hallelujah. I don't even remember to include you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Come on. So you go ahead and you do all of this and you still feel unfulfilled. Hallelujah. You still feel hopeless. Amen. Like a leaf. Glory be to the name of the Lord. But it's time to throw all of this away. People of God, you will be surprised to know that even though people do these things, offense is such a dangerous, hallelujah, and powerful word because that offense is not always seen. But when someone do something offensive towards you or create offense, offense among other people, glory be to the name of the Lord. And I'm not talking about offense as though you're playing a basketball game. I'm talking about the offense. Hallelujah. Being offended and offended others. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. These things sometimes they bother us deep down. Hallelujah. Yes. Inside. And we don't know that we are holding on to it. But it is time to throw it away in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 
I want to encourage you again to say that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit. And in truth from Titus 3 and 5. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So deep down inside I want us to do some soul searching. Glory be to the name of the Lord as we have a few more days in this year moving forward. We have to do some soul searching. Is there any anger inside of us? Is there any bitterness inside of us? Is there any hurt or pain or unforgiveness, hallelujah, inside of us? You know, my husband and I was listening to a teaching. And um, in, within the teaching, we just kept hearing anger, anger, anger. And so we began to talk about it, anger. You know, and, and before we realized, there are so many scriptures in the word of God that deals with anger. Sometimes when our children do things to us, amen, or do things uh, on their own, we are so upset that it really angers us. Sometimes our spouse does things that it angers us, amen. Sometimes our bosses, our co-workers do things to us that it angers us. And so after a while, they have a, a phrase to say, you blow some steam. When you blow some steam and you calm down, you feel like it is all over. But glory be to the name of the Lord. We have an enemy who is deceitful and he used such spirits, hallelujah, especially the one of anger. Then next thing you know, it turns to hatred and we have this boiling, hallelujah, hostility inside of us towards that person. For even for our children and the one we love. As soon as something else happened. Hallelujah. You bring up not only that thing. And they have some, they have it to say that it's only women. But no it is not only women. In marriages especially. Once that thing. Hallelujah. Happens again or something else happened. You would find that you bring up that. And the thing before that. And the thing before that. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And then you find that you become angrier. You become angry, and next thing you know, you talk about how hurt you are. Next thing you know, you become bitter. Yes. Hallelujah, bitter. bitter. Hallelujah, certain things or that thing that you are about to do. Glory be to the name of the Lord and the Lord. Hallelujah. They say for somebody who was watching today, yes. because that person, hallelujah, upset you so much. Yes. That good thing. Glory be to the name of the Lord that you were going to do. Hallelujah. You say that you're not going to do it. Hallelujah yeah. anymore. Come on. <coughs> hallelujah. Go ahead and do it. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God also tells us. Hallelujah. We got a heap of coals. Yes. Hallelujah. Of fire upon our enemies. Even our loved ones. We still got to do good. Hallelujah. We got to return good for bad. Go ahead, hallelujah, and do it. Because the reason why you were doing it anyway, the Lord is saying, it wasn't because of you anyhow. Hallelujah, it was because of them. That person need that breakthrough. That person need, hallelujah, to see, hallelujah, and discover what it is to be loved, hallelujah. Oh what it is to genuinely, hallelujah, accept, hallelujah, and see goodness from somebody, especially without attachment. So you go ahead. Glory be to the name of the Lord and do it. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and so, I want to tell you that these things, bitterness, hurt, pain, unforgiveness, don't let it ravage your life anymore. Hallelujah. Especially the spirit of regret and loneliness. Let it not ravage your life anymore. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. He said, no one comes to the Father except through him. This is what Jesus said himself. I want you to remember, people of God, that we serve a risen Savior. Amen? As I mentioned early in our pre-broadcast, yes, Jesus came and he was born of a virgin Mary. He walked the earth. He did miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. He was here on earth for 33 years. But that is not the Jesus, hallelujah, <coughs> realistically. Who we are serving now. Yes, Jesus did that. I'm not saying that none of that is true. I'm saying yes, that he did. But the word of God said that old things have passed away. And everything has become new. That same Jesus who walked the earth and did all of that. He died, hallelujah. And he rose on the third day. Yes. This was a triumphant thing, hallelujah, that took place. Someone who was dead. 
and is now alive. That's Hallelujah. It, the resurrected. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The power. Hallelujah. Of the resurrection. This is the Jesus Christ. People of God, I want you to remember and ponder on when it comes to these things in life that is weighing you down. That you may know him. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And the power. What the word of God said. The power of his resurrection. The fellowship of his suffering. Even conforming unto death. And this happened for you and I. Glory yes. be to the name of the Lord. The Lord Jesus had to do all of this. Hallelujah. And accomplish the task. That is why he said. It is finished. It is Glory finished. be to the name of the Lord. What he had to do, it was already done. And now he is ascended. Hallelujah. He is ascended back to heaven to his rightful place. Seating on the right, with the right hand of the Father as our chief intercessor. This is the Christ that I want you to remember. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This Jesus is the one that gave power. He said that all power has been given unto me. And he gave that same power unto you and I. To heal. Hallelujah. The sick. To set those free who are captive. Hallelujah. To liberate. Hallelujah. Those who are in prison. In Jesus' name. And if he gave it to us individually to do it to others. Then we have it in ourselves. Glory be to the name of the Lord. By the anointing of Jesus Christ. To break every yoke in our life. If you're with me say amen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. So I want you to see Jesus. Hallelujah. See him as the mighty God he is. See him as the God with power and fire. Hallelujah. As he is. And I want you to remember that man shall not live. By bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And so prophetically, what I'm going to do today, it'll be no more reading and not understanding. You won't just be reading the word for reading its sake, Amen. but you shall read the word and understand. Yeah. It shall come alive, hallelujah, in your heart, in your mind, in your body, and in your soul. But before I do that, I want to encourage you. With the word of God from John that says, hallelujah, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It is this same word that became flesh, hallelujah, and walk among us, amen, hallelujah. Yes. Jesus is the living word, hallelujah. I want you people of God, <coughs> amen, because there is so many Noise in the market. Amen. All of the debate about this doctrine and that doctrine. Uh, this Where in the scripture is this? Hallelujah. Where, where is this? Where is that? Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. I want to let you know you can read the Bible over and over again. And you still miss a revelation of something that you pick up the next time that you read it. And then you will be like, what? This was here all this time? Glory be to the name of the Lord. So sometimes when we talk about, hallelujah, where is this in scripture? Why is he doing this and that? Glory be to the name of the Lord. We should take the time, hallelujah, to look and to search the scripture ourselves to see what the Lord has done and ask the Lord to lead us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Yes. The Bible also is a prophetic word. Amen. Certain things. Hallelujah. Though the Bible expound and show you itself. The Bible is a prophetic word in itself. And you have to be spiritual going through the word. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And so as I leave you here today. I just want you to take a quick minute. Hallelujah. Everything that, that has been bothering you. Yes. Hallelujah. In your life. Quickly. Hallelujah. Just 30 seconds. Just go ahead and think of it. Hallelujah. Think of it, think of it, think of it, hallelujah, mm, call it up, call it up, hallelujah, mm, don't look yes, around, don't look at me, hallelujah, don't just take your eyes off of me, hallelujah, if you're watching via television, hallelujah, just take your eyes off me for a minute and just think of it, 30 seconds, go ahead, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. There it is. There it is. Call it up. Call it up. Call it up. Call it up. 
Call it up, call it up, call it up, call it up, call it up. Hallelujah, that we may know him. Hallelujah, in the power of his resurrection. In the fellowship, hallelujah, of his suffering. Being conformed unto death. It is he who is our risen savior. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Let God arise in you. Hallelujah. Let the Lord revive you today that only he can. The word of God says that same power that rose Jesus from the dead yes. is, is within you. Amen. And so it is that same power. Yes. It is that same anointing that's going to destroy every yoke. Every yoke. Glory be to every the name yoke. of the Lord. These are just a few that the Lord gave me. Amen. And I want you to repeat after me quickly. Spirit of regret. Spirit of regret. Spirit of hurt. Spirit of hurt. Spirit of defeat. Spirit of defeat. Spirit of despair. Spirit of despair. Come on, say it. Spirit of unforgiveness. Spirit of unforgiveness. Spirit of pain. Spirit of pain. I bind you now. I bind you now. And throw you out of my life. I throw you out of my life. I will be free from now on. I will be free from now on. By fire. Fire. And the power in the blood of Jesus. And the power in the, the blood of Jesus. And the Lord showed me, hallelujah, and say this is for many of us out there, especially for five of you who are watching. The enemy crept in, hallelujah, and he thought that he was going to destroy you because of your family. Amen. You have been praying, hallelujah, for hallelujah. salvation in your family, hallelujah. But the enemy crept in and he just caused chaos in your family. Yeah. Yes, come and on. caused you to be scattered. Yes. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of oh, Jesus. Jesus. I want to know, I want to let you know, hallelujah, that that power that came in to break up your family, that power that came in to cause your family to appear that they backslide even further than they were in the name of Jesus. That power has been broken now yes, in the yes, name yes. of Jesus. Just give me the first two weeks in the name of Jesus in 2020. And I guarantee you, hallelujah, you call the name of your family and you repeat, hallelujah, that every power representing my family in the second heaven, I command you to die now in the name of Jesus. I declare it over you that every family that was closed, every family in which, hallelujah, the Lord had his hands on and the enemy tried to snatch them away, that the power that has crept in by the enemy, the chains, hallelujah, the fiery dart, hallelujah, the wind, hallelujah, from Satan that is coming to break up, to destroy, to scatter to this mantle. Yes. I declare yes. and declare yes. that this moment right now, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes, that power is broken. It is broken in your life. It is broken in my life. It is broken in our family life. In the name of Jesus, every, every hostility, every unforgiveness, every division, in the mighty name of Jesus, every animosity, every hatred, every jealousy, in the name of Jesus, every quarrel, your spirits we cast you out, in the name of Jesus, by the anointing of Jesus Christ, that anointing has broken every yoke. Yes, right Satan, now. you are defeated right in the name of Jesus. That family is loose in Jesus' loose. name. Loose. Loose. Celebrate, hallelujah, loose. what the Jesus. Lord has done. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Some of you, hallelujah, two of you who are on the brink of the voice. Glory be to the name of the Lord. You need to reach out, hallelujah, and get counseling. But don't get counsel and apostle would say from some of these jokey people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want to be politically correct because I want you to see, hallelujah, Amen. the seriousness of this. Hallelujah. Yes. Your marriage. Hallelujah. It is going to be saved. Hallelujah. Whoa. Because deep down inside, yes. both of you want your marriage. Hallelujah. But because of the enemy. The hallelujah. Enemy. Yes. Because of that Jezebel, that old seductress. In the name of Jesus. Because of that old sweetheart. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, sugar daddy. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You want a hallelujah. They come to bust up your marriage. Hallelujah. I break that power now. In the name of Jesus. I break the power of the vision. I break the power of the rose. In the name of Jesus. And my 12 midnight. Hallelujah. I release. Hallelujah. The spirit of conviction. 
by the mighty and powerful name of Jesus, that you both, hallelujah, will come together, hallelujah, and you will iron out your differences, and you will forgive each other in the name of Jesus. I release the power in the anointing of Jesus Christ, that it be done now in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will be rekindled in Jesus' name. Yes. Father, I thank you for your power. I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for your spirit. I thank you for your blood. I thank you that all things have been passed away and all things have been made new. I thank you for the families now. I thank you, Lord God, for that divorce is cancer. In the name of Jesus, I declare it. In the name of Jesus, I pronounce it in the courtroom of heaven that it will not be. In the mighty name of Jesus, that marriage will be saved. That family will be saved. Relationship will be kindled. Hallelujah, the love of God. Hallelujah, shall resurface and cover a multitude of sin. In Jesus' mighty name, receive the word of God today. Hallelujah. And remember, hallelujah, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the word, hallelujah, the mouth of God. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Don't touch the scriptures and God's word, hallelujah, unless you have at least three or four references. Glory be to the name of the Lord. And lean not unto your own understanding, but in everything acknowledge Him. And let Him direct your path. Hallelujah. Let Him take control of your tongue, that it be directed. Hallelujah. And say, what thus says the Lord, for you to have power. Hallelujah. For you to have life and not death. In Jesus' mighty name, in 2020 and beyond, receive the fire. Yes. Of God yes, to bring fire. and deliver it. Receive the fire yes. to break up, hallelujah, and to declare the kingdom of God in your workplace. Hallelujah. Know that witch and warlock, hallelujah, was promoted, hallelujah. You just keep on declaring the kingdom of God is established in this place. Yes. And you just watch them because the Lord said yes. before the fall yes. comes the pride. Yes. And so watch the fall of the enemy, hallelujah, in 2019, by the second month, hallelujah, the Lord is reminding me in 2020, by the second month, the Lord is reminding me again, God bless you, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, clap your hands Amen. up to the Lord, hallelujah. clap hallelujah. your hands up to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We tell about Sunday in the Bible. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, stretch your hands to the woman of God. God bless you. As we come in, I got something to say. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Come on, thank you, Lord. Come on, I said thank the Lord. Lord, we just thank you. Lord, we just bless you. We receive that word today. Amen. Hallelujah. The prophetess has spoken and said what the Lord is saying. How many of you received that today? Just wave your hand. If you're listening and watching, just let us know the thumbs up. Hallelujah. God is going to move powerfully in families. God is going to move powerfully in homes. God is going to move powerfully. Hallelujah. In your workplace. Hallelujah. That is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Those who are giving response. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for you. I have a word from the Lord. And I'm going to just pray. Father, right now, as we continue this word, we ask you to continue to speak spirit of the living God. That you move by your power and your grace. Manifest your glory in this place. And Father, for this, we won't stop to give you the praise and the glory and honor. In Jesus' name, just wave your hands to the Lord as you take your seat. I said, wave your hands to the Lord as you take your Hallelujah. seat today. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have just a few minutes, I want you to tune in quickly, like, share quickly, because we have something else to say in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. As we bring this 2019 to a close. I give the Lord glory, honor, and praise for those who are just tuning in. This is our prophetic service coming live from Kingdom Apostolic Ministries International. Hallelujah. As we close out this year, all of our partners and friends from around the world. Hallelujah. I'm going to say what thus said the Lord. Stay tuned. Stay in position. Because I'm going to release something 
the Lord has been saying a few things actually that the Lord has been releasing to us. Hallelujah. Stretch your hand toward prophetess. Father, we just anoint the woman of God afresh. Touch her as she has poured out what thus said the Lord in blessing your people. Strengthen her. Cover us. And cover her. Keep her now. In Jesus' name. Amen. As, as we do as our prophetic custom, I want to blow the sound of the trumpet. The Bible said, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm. I'm going to blow the shofar, which is symbolic of a few things. When the shofar is blown, hallelujah. I hear the Lord. Uh, where's my, come, bring my covering. Where is it? Where is it? Find it. Find my covering. Where's the purple one? Hallelujah. Look for that. In the back somewhere. It's another there. We're going to blow the shofar. I'm going to take on that tip right there. Right under there, that purple one. Hallelujah. As I put on the prophetic mantle. Yeah, one of those. Yeah. Just throw it. Just throw it. That's one. Just one I need. Just throw it. Just throw it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's fine. Check everything out. Jesus. For the Lord is about to move. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Just said the Lord of hosts. I'm about to move mightily in the hearts of my people. And I'm going to baptize them with a new and a fresh anointing. Said the Lord. And yea, said the Lord, it's an unusual anointing. For I'm going to baptize doctors, lawyers, nurses. I'm going to baptize teachers and engineers. The Lord said, I'm not just going to use any more body. I'm going to use some unique people. I'm going to baptize them afresh with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And they're going to say, well in. How is this teacher is so anointed? How is it that this surgeon, this doctor is so anointed? For the Lord said, I'm going to do a fresh new thing. I'm going to anoint scientists who are going to pray in tongues, who are going to lay hands on the sick, who are going to cast out devils. I'm going to raise them up in this 2020, said the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Yeah. You better get ready because the Lord said, uh, I'm going to use some very unusual people. Huh? But the Lord said, I'm going to touch the heart huh, of some people and I'm going to put my spirit. Huh? For the Bible said in the last days, I'm going to pour my spirit huh, upon all flesh. Huh? And the Lord said, I'm going to put a zeal upon the people of God. Huh? I'm going to awaken some mighty, mighty saints in this hour who are not afraid to declare, thus said the Lord. Huh? The Lord said, I'm tired of these huh, pastors and bishops and prophets who have sold out uh, for political positions.
position and for money. Amen. Uh -huh, I might as well prophesy. Uh, the Lord said, I'm not looking uh, for weak back pastors uh, who are trying to get a member of parliament uh, in their pulpit. I'm not going to raise up uh, and bless. In fact, the Lord said, I'm going to expose those ones. Uh, hallelujah for their corruption. Uh, for they do it according to man and not according to me, said the Lord. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those who use uh, money and things to lower people. Uh, hallelujah. You can lower people for a period of time. Oh, God. I, I get my message right now. But you you, 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 you can lower people in uh, with money and things. But in 2020, uh, if you don't have a real anointing, God's people uh, are going to find the places uh, where they're going to get healed, where they're going to get delivered and set free. Come on, shout hallelujah. God's people are tired of cancer. God's people are tired of diabetes. God's people are tired of being sick one day, like a dog, and out the next. God's people want to walk in divine health. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. God's people are tired of addiction. People, hallelujah. I watched the TV the other day, and when I look, I look and saw, hallelujah, the TV screen full. And on the TV screen, the field was full with people. They were at a big gambling event. Hallelujah. One of those number places event. I couldn't believe my eyes, young and old. Mothers and grandmothers out there trying to get a lucky number. Trying to get some money. And I said, God, what is this? And the Lord said the people of God are whoring after money. The God are whoring after things. They are willing to sell their soul for money. Amen. Jesus Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Whoring after money. For that said the Lord God of hosts. The Lord is saying today, don't you know that gambling is a demon spirit? And many are under the clutches of that spirit. And holds them bondage and it holds them captive. And every time you go to those events and get their clothes and their money and their food, you come under bewitchment. Divination, yes. Under divination. You don't know preach. gambling is divination? Preach. I went in a bookstore the other day. I might as well preach. Hallelujah. I might as well prophesy. Because this nation is in crisis. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I saw them by the thousands, by the thousands, in the cold draft, trying to win ten thousand, fifty thousand dollars. Amen. Jesus. And I said, this is what people of God have come to. What a godly nation and a godly people has come to her. But the Lord said, do not judge them too hard. They're under an addiction. It's just like a drug addiction. It's just like an alcohol addiction. It's consuming them. And people need a house of deliverance. Shout deliverance. And God is going to raise some deliverance ministers. Some deliverance houses who are going to try the devil out of gambling out of some people. Because you can't stop gambling on your own. If you would, you wouldn't need the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And I look and I behold and I saw uh, and the Lord began to show me as I look over the city uh, the great drunkenness said the Lord uh, for there's a drunken spirit that has been on this nation for a long time uh, and still rest upon it hey, uh, and the drunkenness from the young to the old hear ye the word of the Lord uh, and the Lord said many are crying out and saying uh, I need a deliverance but there is none to deliver them but the Lord said uh, in 2020 uh, I'm going to raise up some deliverance ministers uh, who are going to lay hands on them drunkards uh, and cast the devil out of them and instantly they're going to be healed. Amen. Hmm, drunken spirit. Huh? Hey, hey, in the Lord, huh, begin to show me. Huh, said, son, look at what's happening. Huh. Yes, the Lord to move marijuana smoking. Hallelujah. To take some criminal record. But the Lord said, huh, man, too many young people. Huh, hallelujah. From the ages of 11 to 40. Huh, who are smoked out. Huh, who are drugged up. Huh. Hallelujah. We got to pray. Huh, because if you give them legal right to smoke one ounce. Huh, that's one joint. Huh, that's all they need to smoke every day to destroy their brain. Hallelujah. There's a drug addiction upon the land. It's upon the generation that's to come. Their lives are being destroyed. They're becoming psychotic and sick. In fact, they come in becoming just plain old dumb and stupid. Worldwide. Hallelujah. That's Amen. the truth. Yeah. Anytime that's you open true. up the marijuana, you're going to kill a nation. You're going to kill a nation because most people who know anything but drugs as a physician being in psychiatry for 10 years, you know that people start off with cigarette, then they move up to BDs, then they go to cigar, then they go to black and mild, then they hit weed. From weed, they go to cocaine. 
Jesus, preach. Or from marijuana. We call it a gateway drug. You start off with BDs. You start off with cigar. You start off with a marijuana joint. From there, you go to cocaine, LSD, PCP. You go to heroin. You go to amphetamines. You go to heroin. You go to all types of dangerous, illicit drugs. Mm. Don't play with me. Every medical doctor, every scientific person know it's called gateway drug. Huh. Hallelujah, said the Lord. Huh. We better pray for our young people huh. that they don't think it's an opportunity huh, to start smoking dope. Huh. Hallelujah, our young sons and daughters. Huh. Hallelujah, I woke up many nights with calls having to see sick psychotics from smoking weed. You can't tell me marijuana don't kill and destroy lives. I saw it firsthand. Oh, God. But look at the nation. The church has gone quiet. And not only in this land, but in so many lands across the world. The church has become soft and weak and quiet. Why? Why? Amen. Amen. Why? You're not scared of the devil? Huh? We're in a battle. You might as well fight. Hallelujah. You might as well fight. Hallelujah. You might as well fight to the end. Hallelujah. Some of you are afraid of your life. Some of you are afraid of your career. Some of you are afraid of your family. Some of you are afraid of your loved ones. You want to be in the clique. You want to be in the know. But praise God, the Lord has already delivered me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order for God to use you, he has to deliver you, first of all, from yourself. Amen. Then he's going to deliver you from your family and your city and your nation. Preach. I've been delivered from all of them. You know how God did it? I can help some of you. Huh? Some of, for some of them, God had to move some people of my life. Hallelujah. How did he do that? He caused them to turn their back on me. Huh? Oh, God. Can I get a witness? Amen. In 2019, huh? some people turned their backs on you. Huh? Some family members turned their backs. Huh? Some friends turned their backs. Huh? Some church ministers turned their back. Huh? Some people who you prayed with turned their backs on you. But that's all right. That's where God wants you. Yes, hallelujah. Once they turn their back on me, I learn how to trust in God. <laughs> hallelujah. The songwriter said, I learn how to lean and to depend on Jesus. <laughs> but guess what? On December 28th, this was the best year of my life. Yeah. This was the most prosperous. This was the most beneficial. This was the most powerful. This was the most prayerful. This was the most deliverance. This was the most faith. This was the most favor I ever got for me and my family in all my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God gets ready to bless you, he needs to move some people. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Get your Bibles to Psalm 41 so you don't say, I didn't preach the word. Psalm 41. What am I going to be talking about today? How to manifest the kingdom of God in your life. How to manifest the kingdom of God in your life. Listen to me. You better have a kingdom assignment for 2020. If you don't have an assignment, the devil will suck you in. Huh? Every time I, you know why you don't ever see me discouraged? Because God keeps reminding me of my assignments. Let me slow it down for some of y'all. The reason why you rarely see me discouraged, the reason you rarely see me give up, very rare, if it ever happens, is one, because the Holy Ghost, I've accepted him in my life. Number two, to help you and I, because I've given Jesus Christ full reign of my life. Say Jesus. Jesus. Number three, because I've been baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. John said, uh, but I baptize you in what? Water. But he that cometh will baptize you with what? The Holy Ghost and with fire. Yes. There are three baptisms. John said, I baptize you with what? Water. Water. But Jesus, when he comes, he shall baptize you with what? The, the Holy Ghost. Ghost and with fire. Mm -hmm. Boy, let me tell you something. When you get baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, mm -hmm. your ma, your pa, your grandma, Ooh. your sister, brother can walk on you. Jesus. And walk out of your life. You, It wouldn't touch you because you've been baptized with fire. Some fire! Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what fire means? No matter, you know what fire does? Burns continually. Mm. It doesn't matter what people say or do. If you baptize with the Holy Ghost and with fire, trust me, you don't need a pat on your back. The Holy Ghost will say, well done, keep going, son. Well done, keep going, daughter. Amen. 
Amen. Some of you in 2020, you need baptism of the Holy Ghost and with fire. Hallelujah. If you don't get baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, when your ma turn her back on you, you're going to falter. When your father turn his back on you, you're going to falter. When your sister and brother reject you, you're going to falter. When your husband and your wife and your children don't agree with you, you'll buckle your feet. Hallelujah. But if you got the Holy Ghost and you got Christ, you will go on in spite of the devil. You'll tell the devil, come to hell. Amen. Hey, you know Next point is when you uh, the Bible says no good soldier entangles himself with the cares and the affairs of this life. Some of you, the Holy Ghost need to strip you in these next two days before 2020. If you don't get stripping, what does it mean? You can't love house, car, you can't love job, you can't love career, nothing more than Jesus. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you love anything more than Christ, that's what the devil is gonna come after. Think for it a minute. Is there anything in your life that you love more than Jesus? Mm -hmm. That's the only way you could be discouraged. Guess what? When the storm, Dorian King is here, I had no concern in my life. Why? God gave me the house. God gave me the car. God gave me the job. God gave me my family. God gave me everything. So if he gave me everything, he obligated to protect it. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. 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 And right before that, my wife and I, over the last few months, was just taking stuff and blessing. We didn't even know why. That's you know true. why? Because the Lord keeps telling us, give it because I want to break greed out your life. Mm -hmm. If you have any attachment to anything other than Christ in your life, you better break it right now. Because 2020, the devil is going to shake and come after everything that's close to you. The Bible says, he that loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. I don't love my father and my mother more than Jesus Christ. So if my father walks out my life today, it wouldn't, make, it wouldn't matter to me. That's how hard he. <laughs> Some of you, you're so broken because mother and father, Amen. sister and brother. If, my, if I am so free that if my father walks out my life today, it wouldn't mean a blessed thing to me. Amen. What do you think about friends? Co-workers, best friend, cousin, auntie, sister, brother, co-worker, neighbor. If my own father, God has freed me from, I honor him. Yes, I do. But I don't love him more than Jesus. I don't love what I mean by that. If he go in one direction outside of the will of God and the Holy Ghost tell me to go the next, I go in after Jesus. It doesn't matter. Amen. Uh oh. That's how it is. Jesus told a young man one time, follow me. The young man said, I have to go bury my father. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. You remember that scripture? Amen. In the New Testament? Yeah. I couldn't figure that out for many years. Then I became a man. Amen. And when I became my own man, I realized, boy, Jesus was given an example. If I call you to do something, if I call you, say, God, call me. God, God, God. Say, Lord, use me. Lord, Many of you ask the Lord in 2019 to use you. Go into 2020. Be prepared, be prepared and be cautious what you're asking him for. Be careful what you're asking him for. Because some people, the enemy is going to use to come in your life to say, come this way, when the Holy Ghost is saying, go that way. Amen. So the young man, Jesus said, follow me. Don't you worry about family, or you worry about me. Why did Jesus say that? When you follow Jesus, you're following your destiny. When you follow Jesus, you are following the call of God on your life. Amen. And the greatest fulfillment you will have, closing out 2019, going into 2020, is fulfilling the call of God on your life. Amen. Many times this year, 2019, I was, I could have gotten discouraged. I Amen. felt discouraged. Yes. But I kept reminding myself, oh my goodness. And the Holy Spirit kept reminding me, I have called you for a purpose. Amen. I have put an assignment in your life. And people's lives are attached to it. So if you don't fulfill it, you're going to abort the dreams and the assignment of so many others. Amen. Boy, I quickly brush off that discouragement. I got rid of that despair. 
I let go of that anger and unforgiveness. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I release that person, whatever they said they did. I let go of that hurt, Pastor. Hallelujah. I said, I let go of that shame. Amen. I mean, this year, people draw money from me. I had to forgive them. God said, let them go. The assignment of your life is bigger than $300. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The assignment of your life is bigger than $500. Yes. You can let someone who intentionally the devil used to hold money back from you so you could be angry and upset and unforgiving against them to miss what I call you to do. Mm. God said, don't let it happen. Amen. The Holy Spirit said, don't let it happen. Fire. Say fire. Fire. You need a fire. Jesus told the young man, let the dead bury the dead. My God. Jesus called the people family dead. Mm. Do you know that you have some dead family members? They're living dead. You know that movie? I never watched it, but it's a movie called The Living Dead. You all watch some of that. That I mean they're walking on the earth, but in the spirit they're dead. They're on their way to hell if Jesus don't save them. My God. They have... Some of them might be saved, but they have no fire. Jesus said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. If you look warm, he said, I'll spit you out of, your, uh, out of my mouth. You imagine Jesus spitting you out? Say, Lord, Lord don't spit me out. Don't spit me out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Some people Jesus is going to spit out before the end of this month. In 2019, Jesus is going to... 2019. I'm talking about 2019. Before you get into 2020, from today, he's spitting some people out. My Why? God. Lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you're going to be tea, tea can either be, you ever had tea before? Mm. You either have iced tea? When you go to a restaurant, the waiter will ask you, you want iced tea or you want hot tea? They never say room temperature tea. Who orders room temperature tea? Huh? Either you want the tea Boiling hot, or you want ice in the tea? Jesus said, be either one. If you're wicked, be wicked. If you're holy, be holy. But don't be half holy and half wicked. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the dead bury the dead. Amen. Uh -huh. Some of you are running after some dead people. Let them go in 2019. Oh my God. Going into 2020. They're dead. What do you mean by dead? They want nothing to do with Jesus. They don't love the church. They don't love the word of God. They don't love the Holy Ghost. They don't love the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They don't love tongue talking. They don't love the word of God. They don't love holy living. They don't love ministry call and assignment. They are lukewarm. They soft and they weak. They don't love you. <laughs> and if they don't love Jesus and all that he stands for, they definitely ain't going to love you. Some of you, I, I like when, just let me know you don't love me. That's it. That's the challenge I had in 2019. I hate the fake ones. I hate the ones who hate you secretly. Of me and my wife and I, we pray, Lord, expose uh, and uncover the secret hate uh, of those around us in Jesus' name. Yes. Yeah. If you hate me, be a man. As I hate your guts. Fine. I know how to deal with you. That's right. Use a woman, be woman enough to say, I, don't, I can't stand your guts. I can deal with that. But don't fake me. Amen. Don't fake me, man. Amen. You ain't faking me because you, you can't fool the Holy Ghost. Preach. I know when you're fake. Hallelujah. Preach. The Holy Ghost by the Spirit. Preach. He'll show me this one here. They fake. They don't like you. That's all I need to do. You can't fake me. You can fake the world. If I don't like someone, I let them know and I don't associate with them. Whether family, friends, neighbor, enemy, whoever. If I don't like you, trust me, you will know. If I like you, I can tell you, you're going to be around me, and you will know I like you. You will know I like your heart, your spirit. I like your personality. I like what you do. I love your walk in the Lord. I love how you carry yourself, how you carry your family, how you carry out your, your work in the Lord. I like the excellence on your life. If I don't like you, I wouldn't even talk to you. Pastor, what's your name by that? Yeah, God didn't say love everyone. No? Huh? He said to love your enemies. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yes, to love everyone. But he didn't say like everyone to bring them in your circle. Some of you loving some people and they stabbing you up in 2019. My God. You loving some people, uh, hallelujah, and they are pulling your eye out. Uh, Jesus said, if your right hand offend you, chop off your own hand. 
If Jesus tell you, if your right hand offending you, hurting you, and getting ready to drive you into hell, if he say, chop it off, it's better for you to go into heaven, maim, than go into hell with all your limbs. Let me slow that down. Jesus said, if your right hand offend you, what to do with it? Chop it off. Uh-huh, chop it off. I didn't know you do it. <laughs> Jesus said to do that. Take that up with Jesus. Well, that's physical, that's spiritual, whatever you want to call it. The point of the matter is, if something is in your own life offending the word of God in your life, you are to cut it off and get rid of it. That's right. That's the point Jesus was saying. Mm -hmm. For it is better for you to get rid of that thing that offends you and have less of that than to go into hell fire. So if Jesus said to do that to your own body, why would you keep someone around who causing you to drink liquor? Amen. Why would you keep going to the club with the same person? Why would you keep being in a homosexual friendship with the same homosexual Amen. you know it is in your life? Why would you keep the same lesbian friends? Some of these dumb fellas, why they, why you gonna keep hanging out with guys who robbing and smoking drugs and getting in problems and you in jail every time? And the officers I work with always tell me the big grown man is be crying like sissies in the jail. Don't mind them out here like thugs and gangsters. When they're in that jail cell, they cry like little babies. They all hard, right? But when they stand before that judge, and that judge say, 20 years to life. Amen. Their pants get wet, 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 wet. Amen. But they was all hard out here. They was all mouth out here. Don't mind that fakeness, you hear me? Don't mind that false life. When crisis hits, you're going to see people break down and cry. So if you're going to keep hanging with the same old jokers in 2019, next year this time you'll be in the same problems. If you're still hanging with the fellas who want a little bear, a little Budweiser, a little Heineken, a little collect, you're going to be in the same problem next year this time. If you want to be gambling in the same gambling house, you'll be broke next year 2020. Not because you cross over a day means something magical is going to happen. Amen. People always believe the 31st, right? Of December, midnight, into the first, some magical happens in your life. No, you, if you used to cuss in 2019, if Jesus don't touch you now, you're going to be cussing more in 2020. Amen. If you was drinking liquor and smoking dope and cigarette and living all kind of dirty lifestyle in 2019, you're going to be worse in 2020. Because every year you don't see the devil getting worse. My God. People getting worse. If you had two women in adultery and fornication, you can have five. If you had daddy wears in 2019, when the clock hit 1201, January 1st, 2020, you're going to be worse, more miserable. Oh Nothing to change. Preach. If you was a glutton in 2019, you're going to eat more in 2020. Because every year you're getting older and your body getting, the metabolism slowing down. You're getting fatter every year. If you don't stay active, what would make you think something will change? If Jesus don't get a hold on your life, something's going to happen. Psalm 41. Let me give you the prophetic word for every saint. You all still love me? Wave your hands. If you don't change the behavior, you're going to be worse next year. That's all I'm saying. You want a prophetic word, right? Change your behavior. Change your dirty ways. Let the Holy Ghost get a hand of you. Amen. You'll be better. Free yourself. Amen. Uh huh. Be a man or woman of God. Don't let nobody take you out of your course this year. I go into church. I won't go. If you don't go, stay home. I go into the house of God. Don't let nobody keep you from the house of God in 2020. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Don't let anybody keep you from the house of the Lord in 2020. Amen. If pastor in here, you stand by that door and you praise God for service time and you stay there and when you feel the Lord release you, go home. Amen. Don't let nobody stop you from the house of God. Yes, amen. Pastor don't own the house of God. Many of these pastors make you feel they own the house of God. They didn't buy the house. Many of these leaders make you feel they own the building. They didn't pay for the building themselves. The church people paid. 
The church people bought the chairs Amen. and the and the tile and the rug and the lights and the sound system. Amen. No pastor bought all that. Amen. It's the church people money who bought hallelujah and the loan that, that built the building and paying for it. Amen. I know they act like they own the church and this might you. You don't have no church. The church belongs to Jesus Christ, not to you and I. Amen. Come on, show hallelujah. hallelujah. So you don't let even a pastor keep you from the house of the Lord. But pastor gave me back. So what? <laughs> he saved you. Then the pastor saved you. Then he died on the cross. Then he shed his blood. You will let a prophetess keep you from the house of God. You will let a pastor keep you from the house of God. You will cause a pastor, someone to offend you in church because you will lose your salvation. Amen. Help him out there. If I, in 2019, had depended on Christian people in 2019, I would have gone out in the world and sinned and party like the best party in the world. Amen. Why am I saying that? Because there's more, the people who hurt me the most in 2019 were supposedly Christian people. The people who did me the worst stuff in 2019 were people who go to church. The people who did the worst things this year lied, robbed, stole, criticized, rejected, abandoned, hurt, disappointed were people who call themselves Christian. Had I waited on church people and Christian people, I would have backslid this year. But my hope is in Jesus Christ. Come on, shout hallelujah. My hope is in the Holy Ghost. Amen. I to forgive them. Even as people, I had some people I hurt this year too. Come on, can we be honest? Did you hurt some people this year? We in church, we praying, we fasting, we worshiping, we in the word of God, but there's some people I offended, not intentionally. Amen. If I did, I said, sorry. Some might not have even told me yet. I wish I you did. Anyone I offend, just tell me, please, so I can apologize. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And if I offend anybody, I'm sorry. Listening or watching here and around the world, you who are here, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Amen. Whether I knew it or didn't know it, call me, text me, let me know I offend you. I'm sorry. Amen. Because I'm going into 2020 clean. Come on, say clean. Clean. You got to go into the new year clean. Clean. Uh-huh. Unforgiveness. That's what prophet has said. Unforgiveness. This is the time, December. As you close of the year, you ooh, you gotta pray. Oh, you gotta forgive so many people. Yes. I mean, brothers and sisters in Christ, and brothers and sisters in the natural. Can you imagine? But Jesus said in the last days, brothers will offend brothers, mother will offend daughter, father will offend son. Brothers and brothers will turn their back on you. They will give you up to be killed and to be crucified. They will drag you before the courts. We are living in the last and final days. Be prepared for great persecution. Be prepared for those who you thought love you. If you don't pray for them and they don't stay prayed up, be prepared for persecution. Amen. I know that's not the prophetic word you want to hear. Psalm 41, let me give you the prophetic word from this and one other verse. How to manifest this. I'm telling you how to manifest the kingdom of God in your life. That's my topic. Forgive. Release everyone and everything. Have a fire for the Lord. Be faithful to the house of God in this year. Don't let anybody stop you from serving the Lord. Psalm 41 verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. Say the poor. Let me give you some practical tips now. God wants you to use your ministry to help the poor. Pure and undefiled religion is to visit the widows and the orphans. Come on, shout hallelujah. That's pure religion. Show me someone who said they're really on fire for God and you'll see them every so often. <clears throat> some of them regularly feeding the hungry. Visiting the widows and the orphans. You can't be in church and know that someone is an orphan. And there are people who don't have mother and father. And you don't show no love to them. You cold and heartless. You ain't saved. I know some people who, who are in church every Sunday. But people who are fatherless and motherless. They are cold toward them. You think they can see the face of Jesus? 
I know some people who know certain persons are widows. Their husband died. You know, a lady, she shared a testimony of how, hallelujah, a widow and a man who came to her called himself prophet. He dead now. Called himself prophet. He took advantage of that poor widow. She thought maybe he was going to be the husband. You know, you lose your husband. You have children to raise. This man took advantage of her for years. Called himself prophet. He died this year. I hope he seen the face of Jesus. But what he did to that woman, trust me. What am I saying? Be careful how you handle the widows and orphans. That's my point. You see people in your church, in your community, in your neighborhood who are widows, you are to help them. You see someone who's lost a parent, you be kind and loving to them. You don't know what it is for a child to lose a parent. They are vulnerable. They are open. And people come into their life and take advantage of them. That's wicked. But Jesus, the word of God said in Psalm, Blessed is he that considered the poor. If you want to be blessed in 2020, you've got to help the poor and needy. I know sometimes you're driving along in your car and you see someone on the side of the road. And you say, they, oh, I ain't giving them nothing. They will buy it for drugs. My wife and I, we can't even go. We won't even go in the same what we do. Anytime we jump in our cars and the Holy Spirit said, go here, there, and everywhere. Why? You don't know. There's some people who are poor. There's some people who came up under some hard times. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to bless you if you consider them. Watch this. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Let me tell you a principle. Boy, if I didn't do something, if I didn't consider the poor, I would have been destroyed. Amen. God said, I will deliver you in the time of trouble if you consider who? Man, y'all read it between man. <laughs> read Psalm 41 verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the what? Poor. Get your Bible. Turn your Bible. Amen. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Who will the Lord deliver in the time of trouble? Who will the Lord deliver in the time of trouble? The poor. No, the one that helped the poor. Yes. Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Who is him? The one that considered the poor. If you're going to be blessed, you're going to help the poor. I'm talking about genuinely poor now. I'm talking about people who gamble their money out and poor. I'm talking about people who waste their money and I'm talking about they poor and broke. No, I'm not giving nobody who's gambled money in 2020. Why? You're going to curse my money. I give you $20 and you go to the gambling house. They go gamble it on my hard-earned money. So my seed went into gambling soil. The devil is a liar. I will put my seed in the people who God touches. They go and buy a plate of food and they're going to give God glory. Or they're praising or they're going to feed someone. They're going to help someone. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I look at you and I see you as a gambler, you ain't getting my money. You could knock on my door, my window, all you want. You're a gambler. If you want to use it for drugs or alcohol, I can give it to you. If you want food, I'll buy you food. Come on, shout hallelujah. Verse 2, Psalm 41, verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. Who is this again? The one that considered the poor. You want to stay alive in 2020? Watch, read verse 2 of Psalm 41. The Lord will preserve him. Say preserve him. There are some people the Lord is going to preserve in 2020. Some of you think you got to kiss up to a pastor or kiss up to a church leader. you got to be all friendly up under the bishop or the archbishop or the prophet. Or pastor. No, no, no. You want to be preserved? Consider the poor. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. You want to stay alive? Stop running around all over the place looking for people to protect you. The Lord will keep you alive. Say, keep me alive, Lord. According to Psalm 41 verse 2, hallelujah, the Lord will keep me alive. When I read that earlier today, I began to shout and praise. It means it's God who keeps you alive. If the Lord don't keep you, honey, you can put bars all around your house. When death won't come knocking at your door, it'll come. If the Lord don't keep you, uh -huh. and he shall be blessed upon the earth. And thou will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Oh my God. How many know that you have some enemies? 
If you don't pray between now and in the next few days, the same enemies you have in 2019, if you don't bind them, cancel them, rebuke them, and ask the Lord to drive them out of your life, they can be right there waiting January 1st, 2020 for you. That's why uh, we are a deliverance house. And when we pray, uh, we, we do warfare. We bind up the enemy. We curse him. We cancel him. We uproot him. Uh, hallelujah. If you want to be quiet in 2020, then you will have trouble. Me, I go shout. Somebody shout. Uh-huh. Some of y'all still ain't shout in the right time. I tell you shout. I say, some of you shout. Yeah. Okay, I'll shout more than that, but that's all right. Yes. If you want to be Hallelujah. quiet, keep your mouth quiet. Me, I'm going to shout. I'm going to pray. I can use the weapons of my warfare because why? I need my mighty God to deliver me. I don't play with no, I have no mercy on the enemy. I have no mercy on the enemy. Mm -hmm. Verse 3, Psalm 41 verse 3, the Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languish. I mean, even if you get sick in 2020, the Lord will give you strength. Say strength. Strength. Uh-huh. That will make all his bed in his sickness. Even when you're sick, God will preserve you. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Another great thing you must learn for 2020 before you go in 2020, just repent. David had a repentant heart. He knew how to go to God and say, Lord, have mercy on me, I sin. Huh? Would you lift up your hand and say, Lord, have Lord, mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. Uh -huh. That's all you got to do. If you say, Lord, have mercy on me, I sin against you, the Lord will heal you, man. My enemies, watch this. Say, my enemies. My enemies. Speak evil of me. Speak evil of me. When shall he die and his name perish? My God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, growing up in the church, I thought, I, you know, everyone would love you when you're a Christian. Amen. Everyone would love you and care for you. And no, Jesus, don't be fooled in this day. <laughs> Hallelujah. David said, do you have some enemies? They waiting for your skin to dead. Mm -hmm. Tell the devil, go to hell. Go to hell, devil. Shut the devil, go to hell. Devil, go to hell. Huh. You want me to die? Say, my enemies, my enemies. die in my place. Die in my place. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' so name. What kind of preaching this is? Well, you want me to die? Well, you die in my place. I declare it in Jesus' name. I went to work one day, which day I was pastor. I pull up there. The Holy Ghost said, drive through the corner. I drove through the corner. I pull up there. I see the, my pastor here. Taking out some stuff, a fella behind him in a big truck out in the car, saying all kind of cuss, moving his hand. I pull up, the Holy Spirit say, Don't, I was going home. The Holy Spirit say, Turn in the yard, stop. I jump out of the car, past the carry right there. The fella, I trying to figure what's going on. The fella rowing and cussing, drunk or high or whatever, ready to fight the man. The fella didn't only drive. I said, Pastor, where he came from? He followed him from the corner, yeah. drove behind him in the truck, pulled up behind him, blocked him in in his car, came out of the truck, left the truck on and running with the door open. Hmm. When I saw that, the Spirit of God rose up in me. I said, you get, what's, what's your problem, boy? This time I had no fear. Come on, say no fear. No fear. I don't fear my mom, my pa, and no devil in hell. Amen. You want to fight? I have for a good Holy Ghost fight. The weapons of our warfare are not what? Kana. Now, if you want to go on cussing and fighting and say, boy, what happened? It's not cussing today. Then you want his turf, you in the flesh. It will be a fight. Man, I pull back. He'll tell you. I pull back. I say, Black devil, shut up. The Holy Ghost came upon me. I began to pray in the Holy Ghost right there in the street. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell me, let me tell you something. When it's time to do warfare, I do warfare wherever. I don't care if my yeah, mom, my pa, my grandma. I don't care if the prime minister, the president around. <laughs> when the Holy Ghost come and be, I tell me to shout in the spirit or pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't care who around. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, when you see I get to that place, now you cross the line. I go in all the way. Yeah, and when I go all the way, I pronounce in some judgments against you. Well, Pastor, why you pronounce judgment? I don't play that. If you cross that line, and the Holy Ghost show me. Now, if you said, I'm sorry, this, 
I'll pull back. But if you rise up and the Holy Ghost rise up in me to that level, when I finish, he'll tell you, when I finish praying the Holy Ghost, he said, oh, don't bring God in this. Start cussing. I said, I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus. Get. I release the judgment of God on you. I release the fire of God on you. I release the judgment of heaven upon your life. By the time you, if I be a prophet of God, by the time you leave here, your judgment is upon you. Now you get just what he won that day. Yes. Why? The Holy Ghost has set up some people to touch God anointed so you could tell them something in the Holy Ghost. And when I pray like that with intensity, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avail it much. When I pray, I pray in that from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that out of my spirit. I pray that with every ounce of strength in my body. And if I serve in the Lord, God Almighty, and I say that in the open and in the heavenlies, my God, I'm looking for that to happen. Amen. Glory. One time, this fella did something and came to fight me or something. Man, I pronounce a judgment on him right there. I say, the blood of Jesus against you right there, man. The fella start choking and coughing and right in front of there. I don't play with this. This is real. Another time, I had this teacher. He was teasing me. I tell you, teasing, teasing, trying to embarrass me in front of the class. I mumbled right under my voice in the Holy Ghost. And all of a sudden, he started choking. <coughs> Start choking right there and then when he started when he right after he said what he started to say to me. <laughs> I do not play in the Holy Ghost. I'll be the most quietest person in the world. You try to take advantage of me. I well, if you come to fight me publicly, I'll turn into a madman in the spirit. When you go to hit me or touch me, by the time I pray in the Holy Ghost. And so you think I'm a mad man. By the time I finish praying, the Holy Ghost will put a piece of choking on you. And I told Carrie right there, I'm a if he had dropped right there, I would have walked right over him in the Holy Ghost. If he didn't repent, he'll go see Satan that same afternoon. I don't pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't play in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm. He drove off cussing. I said, Yeah, that one finished. Mm. Right after the police came, Carrie said, Boy. The police should have been here to lock him up. I said, trust me, what he got released on him is worse than if the police had locked him up and put him in Fox Hill. I can't remember the face or name, but I, I look in the papers to see his face soon. Why are you like that, Pastor? Why? Some people come, what if he had a gun? You don't know if he had a gun or knife right on him. He drove behind the man, pack him in so he can't escape. Wouldn't tell him what he was going to do. That could have been two. He was going to kill dog on me. Sweet Jesus was going to kill me. Because I left my car running too. Either the Holy Ghost will get him or I was going to knock him the daylight over that fence. <laughs> Wasn't going to get me. So you want people to come? It's kill or be killed. I don't fight in the natural. I ain't going to take a weapon and touch you. But give me one night. I go on my face before sweet Jesus. You want to take advantage of me? You want to rob me and try to kill me? One prayer, the Holy Ghost will snatch you out in the night. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? There's some people who want you dead. So if you ain't going to pray in 2020, let the devil kill you then. Not you. And his name perish. And if he come to see me, he speak in vanity. His heart gathered iniquity to himself. When he go abroad, he telleth it. All that hate me whisper together against me. Lord God Almighty. Oh my God, I thought when you walk with God and God blesses you, your people like you. Man, you are hated more than ever before. Some of you say, Lord bless me. The Holy Ghost say, wait, 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 wait. I can bless you, but wait. I got to prepare you for your blessing. You get a car, they hate you. You get a house, they hate you. You get a wife, they hate you. You get a child, they hate you. You get a business, they hate you. You own something, they hate you. Everything you do, they hate you. Amen. That's what Jesus said. Don't be fooled and think everyone love your skin. You can show your pearly whites all you want. They can't wait to see you dead. Mm, come on, child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you and some close folk around you can't wait to see you dead. You prospering too much. They won't take your property. They won't take your house. They won't take your land. They won't take your bank account. They won't take your wife. They won't take your husband. The devil is a liar. Uh -huh. 
All that hate me whisper. And they're talking against you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He goes here. Say, Lord God, Lord God, destroy those who are whispering against me in Jesus' name. Come on, bind it. I bind it. All those who are whispering, all those who are conjuring up, all those who are texting and WhatsApping, all those who are communicating about my destruction, my despair, hallelujah, my downfall, all those who want to see me despaired and troubled and tormented, see my family tormented and fail and faltered, who want to see me sick and my family sick and dead and destroyed and wiped away. Lord God, bring destruction to them now in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. That's how you got to pray in 2020. Whispering against you. And they ain't whispering nothing nice against you. They want to see you lose your mind. Lose your marriage. Lose your health. Lose your wealth. Lose your call of God. And ultimately, death. Satan wants you to lose your life. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All that hate me whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my hurt. Uh huh. 2020 ain't gonna change. You gotta stay on your prayer knees. You gotta stay on your face before the Lord in prayer and fasting. If God is gonna use you, trust me, God wants to use some of you mightily, but the warfare, He has to prepare you. God wants to manifest the greatness in you. You know, when you become great, the more, the more great, the greater you become, the more people will hate you. Mm -hmm. That's right. They are sitting now, literally devising how to hurt you. <laughs> the Lord showed me in the spirit a couple times over the years, people who had literally devised something to hurt me. Oh, y'all better pray. <laughs> you, you want the prophetic? See, I'm a prophet. So when the, I ain't only a prophet, the prophets I use stuff to get your blessing, your house, and you this. The devil is a liar. I use the prophetic for my life too. Lord, say that one there. You show me. They want to kill you. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. That one there, they despise them. If you come out of my covering, they would love to destroy you physically and kill you. Oh. Some of you think as you pray and you're a pastor or you're a businessman. There's some people who, when you're a businessman, they plot how to rob you and kill you. They're watching your movement. If you don't have the Holy Ghost in 2020 to say, no, turn to that corner. No, turn to that road. No, don't go to work this time. No, stay afterwards for another half hour. I'm clearing something. They're out there watching you right now. Sometimes the Holy Ghost wouldn't even tell you to, not to frighten you. Sometimes the Holy Ghost says, stay. Why? Because if you had moved, them buggers right out there with a gun waiting to come out the, sh the bush with you. But half hour gone, and they ain't see you come. They get tired, so they leave. Huh? You better follow the Holy Ghost leading in this year. Shabbos huh? here. When the Holy Ghost said in the, in the car, sometimes the Holy Ghost will say, shout. You better shout. When the Holy Ghost come, you come to a service like this. Huh? Don't be quick to rush out and to go nowhere. With the Holy Ghost. Huh? Hallelujah. Some people bring, bring, bring in my phone. I look at the phone. The Holy Ghost is telling me, don't answer it. You want me to come on my house to deal with you? The devil is a liar. Uh-uh. Holy Ghost ain't telling me more. It could be sweet Moses. I ain't moving. You better be like that in 2020. There's some people who devise in your hurt. The same ones will be the one who called you out to get set up by the hitman. You better wake up and smell her. Huh? Hallelujah the coffee. Amen. You know how many people get set up like that? But I said, Christian, God is protecting me. Yeah, he is. If you would obey his voice. Amen. If you hearken to the voice of the Lord your God. If the Holy Ghost says, stay put, don't go. Tell your children that too. Honey, in 2020, you see the Holy Ghost ain't leading you. And the person ain't led by the Holy Ghost, don't go. An evil disease say they cleave it fast unto him. Oh, that's another thing. If you're going to be great, be careful. In 2020, people can put accusation. You think it's only today. Back then, they were saying it too. An evil disease is on him. What they say now? This one got AIDS. It's no minor. That one, that, that one got this. That one got that. This one got the thing. Accusation. <laughs> How to go? 
Huh? Yeah. See, because it's the plan of the enemy to accuse you and accuse your life. Why? They don't want you to have influence. And now he that lieth, he shall rise up no more. They saying you are. Uh, there's some people in 2019 who thought uh, you would have been dead and destroyed. Uh, come on and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some buggers, some old nasty devils thought I would have faltered. In 2019. Amen. But tell the devil, go to hell. I'm stronger, smarter, wiser, more filled with the Holy Ghost than ever before. So the devil and them and all of the conspirators can go to hell Amen. if they don't repent. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whatever they send and desire, let it come upon them. <laughs> in Jesus' name. What kind of prayer this is? This is how I pray, honey. I make no apologies for this type of prayer. Amen. If you want death and destruction and disease to come on me, you've been chanting it. You go into your witch workers. Uh, you go into your obeah and your voodoo and your witch workers. Uh, I don't stand back idly. I send that back to your skin. And I love to see you in the papers with your face on it. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You won't kill me. The devil is a liar. Some people say you will not rise. There's some people who did some things to you in 2019, said some things, uh, plotted some things, planned some things. They didn't expect you to make it to December 28th. But praise be to God, uh, you in the house of God, December 28th. Give me God praise! Shout hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. This is my place. I can holler as loud as hallelujah. I want to hear. You don't like it, go. I don't care. Amen. Shout so, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We thought you was going to die. Yes. Uh -huh. but I got a surprise and terrible news for the devil. I still in Jesus. Hallelujah. I still in the Holy Ghost. Not because you didn't help me in 2019. Me and I didn't survive. High five someone and say, I survived without you, baby. I you. Why Amen. some people think you only could survive with them? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. You ain't my source. You ain't my provision. You, you, your money don't keep me alive. God is my source. There are some clients who left your life. You, you ain't my source. God sent me new clients. There's some church folk thought you would fault up in the house of God. God, God sent people from around the world. Amen. Some, some family members who thought you ain't have no love. God sent people with all kind of love to bless us and love us and show us how much they care. Oh, thank you. you some of you, that's a word for some of you. Uh, some of you with some abusive relationships. Uh, hallelujah. God have so much people to love you. Uh, come on, give God praise. Uh, if you don't want to love me, the hell with you. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus will love me. The Holy Ghost will love me. Uh, my wife will love me. My child will love me. My children will love me. Uh, hallelujah. God has sent someone surprising uh, from around the world. Say, hey, I love you. I'm praying for you. Uh, your ministry is blessing me. Hallelujah. You don't receive my ministry here. Uh, Seven billion people to receive it. Hallelujah. And Freeport is a small city. Come on, wake up. <laughs> These folk think if they, hey, if you, they don't approve you, you ain't approved. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? You don't own no city. So I know some, some, some of these big shot pastors think they own the city and the whole country, right? Come on, please. Amen. There's a remnant God has a sign for you. Who only you can touch. Hallelujah. And they are committed to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the Holy Ghost puts something in them. That's a sign to you. Huh? And they're going to bless you and love you and take care of you. Huh? If they're going to come from halfway around the world. They will love you and bless you. Come on shout hallelujah. Just keep doing what God called you to do. Hmm. Watch this. Psalm 41 verse 9. I'm talking about manifesting the kingdom of God in your life. Don't rush. Take this word in. Yea, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat up my bread, had lifted up his heel against me. Honey, if that didn't happen to you in 2019, surely it can happen to you in 2020. God is an awesome God, you know. David is saying, and I prophesy it to you. David said, my own friend, who I trusted. Did you get disappointed to see him? Wave your hand. 
I mean folk you trusted in. People you confided in. There's some people I helped this year, they cried. Please help me, please, please do this for me. I went and made the way for them to be blessed. They turned around and backstabbed me. But guess what? God sits on his throne. Don't think they got away with it. Because God is a righteous God. What you sow, you will reap. As I was thinking about something, there's a young man who <laughs> went ahead and did something. Went off and got married. But as I was praying, the Holy Ghost said, that's the same way his father did. Hey! Boy, let me tell you something. Be careful. See, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. The young man went off and he loped. Ran away. Had none of his family there. <clears throat> and the Holy Ghost showed me that's the same way his father did. Ran off, eloped, and ran to another place. And for years, they didn't have any dealing with the family. And I said, look at the same footsteps. As a prophet, you know, the Holy Ghost is showing me these things. Between the prophetic, I said, oh my goodness, yes. That's the same thing that happened. What am I saying? The one you eat bread with lifted up his heel against me. And I know that hurt them. Can you imagine? Your child, you grew up all them years. <laughs> One month ago, everything was fine. One month later, they're in a foreign land getting married and you ain't even there. That'll break a man apart. Mm -hmm. But it's some seeds you people have sown. See, when you sow bad seed, it's come back. And, the, and, and one thing but life, it ain't gonna come from the people you, you ain't care about. It can come from your same household. The one that you least expected, the one you were preparing to stand with you. That's the one who could you're going to turn it back on you because you sold that to other people. Be careful what you sold in 2019. Mm -hmm. Be careful what you sold in the years before. And I watched that this weekend. And I said, oh my God. Look what this And I keep going in my spirit. Lord, what do you say? <clears throat> the Holy Ghost said, the same seed. <clears throat> the same way they abandoned people, rejected people, walked over people. Deny people, didn't show any love or concern and care for people. That's the same way that they turned, that person, their own child turned around and did it to them. The same weekend. Be careful how you sow seeds. My own familiar friend. Verse 10. But thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me. Say, Lord, be merciful unto me. And raise me up. That I might requite them. Now that's a serious term. God said, and my topic is manifesting the kingdom of God. I'm giving you the prophetic word. I'm wrapping up now. Listen to what David said. David didn't say, Lord, help them, and Lord, get me through the trouble and the trial. God said, uh -uh. David said, Lord, <clears throat> be merciful to me. That means cover me. Keep me. Help me. Why? Raise me up. That I might requite them. That means I'm going to pay them back every single... Don't tell me the Bible don't have nothing but paying back. Vengeance is the Lord's own. But God has said, huh? Hallelujah. Huh? No weapon formed against me shall what? Prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I shall condemn. Yes. Mm -mm. Don't play that. Oh, God, yeah, God is doing the vengeance. I don't have no unforgiveness and vengeance. But David said, Lord, raise me up so I can deal with them. The Holy Ghost is saying to you today too, when you rise up, don't be no weakling in 2020. Rise up and say, God, if they will fight, fight it is. I'll fast, I'll pray. I can prophesy, I can bind a witchcraft. I can send back the arrows that they send against me back to them. Lord God, just give me enough strength. That's my prayer. Hallelujah. In 2019, going into 2020. Every day I pray, God, give me the strength so I can crush the head of the enemy. Give me the strength so I can crush the snakes. Now, give me the strength so I can make every word they say an embarrassment. Raise me up. Give me enough strength so when I walk, they embarrass at the failed plans that I will put them 
the shame, every weapon, uh, every trial, every dot, every word they say, let them be brought to shame. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. David say, Lord, give me a token so that they that see me will know you are with me. Amen. Uh -huh. God raised me up so strong in 2020 that my enemies will drop down and faint when they see how good you bless me. Amen. Lord Hallelujah. caused my enemies to have a, have a sudden cardiac arrest my God. with no one there to resuscitate them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you pray them little light prayers. That's how I pray. Lord, <laughs> cut their breath and let there be no oxygen tank around. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, give me enough strength to fulfill my destiny. Don't let me die in my failure. Don't let me die and be embarrassed. Don't let me die. Hallelujah. Don't let me be put to shame. Hallelujah. David said, Lord, let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Lord, if you're going to call me to greatness, don't let me be put to shame. I'm going to step out and say, jump on your feet. I'm going to manifest the glory of God in my life. But please, Lord, don't let me be put to shame. Don't let me fail. Don't let me be a laughing stock. Lord God, let every enemy plotting against me let them be brought to shame let them be brought to desolation let them be brought to destruction let them be brought to fail let the trembling of your voice let the power of your anointing bring them to shame and disgrace in the name of Jesus Jesus uh -huh. watch this Psalm 41 verse 11 but this I know that thou favorest me say God you favor me God, you favor me. Uh -huh. I don't care, but no one say you, you might not like my guts. The hell with the devil and you if you don't like me. My God favors me. Come on, wave your hand and say, my God favor me. My wife was, we were driving the other day, hey babes, and she just stopped out of the blue. My God favor us, eh? The Lord love us, eh? I said, what you mean by that? She didn't go no details. I said, wow. That's true, you know. May God favor us, by Hallelujah. God love us. I, I don't I know people say that, but for me, come on, if they, you know that's you, say God favors me. God favors and the same favor that's on your life in 2019, yes. if you continue to walk with God, He'll favor you in 2020. Yes. <laughs> Honey, God brought us through a major category. Whatever number that is. We still here today? Yes. Well, He favored us. Hallelujah. We still have clothes and food and shelter and life. He favored us. We're in the house of God. He favored us. Hallelujah. Almost got into accidents. He favored us. Yes. The brakes held up and I must run into a building. He favored us. The car froze up in the middle of the road with the car. The car was supposed to ramshack me, but he favored me. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. He favored me. They tried to rob me and think I was going to falter under God. Favored me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, God. They thought they were to rob and hold back from me. And I would have gone under financially, but God favored me. Oh, Lord. They thought they would have walked out of my life, but God favored me. They thought they would have caused me to shut down my business, but God favored me. They thought they would have scandalized me behind my back. Hallelujah with friends, family, lovers, and clients. But God favored me. They thought they would withhold the documents I needed, but God favored me. They thought they didn't would have not called me during the time of my crisis. That I would have given up, I would have faltered, I would have failed. But shout, God favored me. Uh -huh. They thought I would have been isolated. They thought the storm would have swept me away. But honey, I got news for you. I got new stuff. New shoes. That are better. New punch. That are better. New clothes. New shirts. Everything is better, honey. Because God what? Favor me. They would have sat back and rejoiced. Them bubbles thought they would have sat back and discussed. Hallelujah. Take pictures. Hallelujah. Thought I would have burned up and gone under. But I want to let you know, shout it loud, God favored me. God favored me. Hallelujah. You know what God favored me? I'm God's favorite. Oh my goodness. Yes. 
I'm not saying I'm the only one who's God's favorite. He has many favorites. <laughs> hallelujah. But for him to favor you, you have to be one of his favorites. Yes, hallelujah. If you know anything but English, if God favors you, it means his favor is to watch you. That means he favors you because his favor is to watch you. And he favor with you and show you favorite because you are his favorite. Yes. That's a revelation. By this I know thou favorest me. Because my enemy do not triumph over me. One of the one of the most popular ways of knowing her, that you are one of God's favorite, that he favorites you, that he favors you, that the Bible said he favored you, is that you triumph over your enemies. If your enemies beat you up, that means God favor you to watch you. Hey, my, 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 my. Hallelujah. He rebukes who he loves. If, if the Lord is not chastening you, if the Lord is not rebuking you, if the Lord is not correcting you, even though it's hard sometimes, if he's not doing it, that means you're not one of his favorites. Because he chastens whom he loves. Ah, by this I know you favored me because my enemies do not triumph. No matter what they did in 2019, they didn't triumph over you. You ought to shout. And if they didn't triumph over you in 2019, you keep on praying. You keep on fasting. You keep on praising. You keep on living holy. They ain't going to be able to touch you in 2020. It don't make no difference because you and I have the favor of God. It means no matter what what the devil sends your way, you will triumph because the favor of God is on you. Some of you ought to say, come, come devil, red rover, red rover, let that devil come over. And when they come, you want to crush their filthy head. If it's a fight they want, it's a fight they won't get. But I'm going to tell you, I've been trained for warfare. I've been trained for the battle. I've been trained to fight. Lord, teach my hands the war and my fingers the fight. If it's a fight you want, devil is a fight you won't get. But the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. Through the pulling down of the strongholds, I press toward the mark. My weapons are mighty in God. To the pulling down and the casting down, pulling down vain imaginations and every high thing. If it's a war you want, it know that when you touch me, you've engaged in a war. Who is that war with? You touch a war with me. You touch a war with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You touch the war with the angels of heaven. You touch a war, and I am not programmed to lose a war. I am programmed as a warrior of God to fight and to win. Somebody say, win, win, win. All I do, you know the words. I've been programmed with fire. When I come fighting, I come with fire. When I come fighting, I come with prayer. When I come fighting, I come with a shout. When I come fighting, I come with the word of God to fight and to win. It's what I've been trained for. Jump on your feet and begin to war in the spirit. Begin to shout. I want you to go ahead and defeat the last bit of the remnant of the enemy of 2019. Beat them down like the dust of the air. Come on. Come on and begin to destroy the works of darkness. Come on. Begin to Defeat your enemies. Have no mercy on your enemies. Defeat them down to the ground. Uproot them back when they stole in 2019. They stole your money, your time, your resources. They stole every whatever they stole. They would have wished they never stole it from you. Hallelujah. Because what they're going to pay for touching God's anointed. Touch not my anointed ones. Do my prophet no harm. What they're going to pay. Touch not God's anointed, touch not God's favor, touch not God's favor, touch not the one with the hand of God upon him. Hallelujah! Many touched God's anointed, not knowing, and it cost them their life. Get ready, those who are fired up, those who are living holy, those who are righteous in all their dealings. 
Let the devil know if they touch them in 2020, whatever they do, all they gotta do is say one prayer. All that righteous person has to do is say, Oh Lord, this one is troubling me. And the angels of heaven and the Lord God of heaven is gonna move quickly and suddenly. These are the days of the book of Acts where those who touch the church will be judged severely. This is the day, the end times where God is raising up a powerful anointing that those who touch the saints of God will be judged and will be spit down with death and disease and destruction. These are the hour where he will manifest upon the people an apostolic anointing and he's going to destroy the enemies of God from before their face. Hallelujah! Uh-huh. As for me, thou upholdest me in mine integrity and settest me before thy face forever. The Lord is setting you and I before his face. You know what I mean? If I face the face with God, hallelujah. Come here, man of God. If you stand in face and face me, turn this way and face me. If you facing me, guess what happened? I gotta defend you. Uh -huh. God, I'm standing face to face. It's right here. That means we're coming to the left, he could see. We're coming to the right, he could see. We're coming from behind, he could see. Uh, the Lord say, I will have you before my face, face to face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Uh, I want to close out in prayer uh, and let you know that God uh, has been going to 2020. Uh, do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Uh, for the Lord, your God is with you. Uh, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord saying prophetically as I close. Those who mocked you in 2019 are ashamed to stand before your face now. Those who thought you would have failed in 2019 are too embarrassed to face you now. Those who thought they would hold their love, their money, their support from you, you would have faltered. They are too afraid to face you now. In fact, what they desired for you has come upon them. What they desired for your life has come upon them. Those who they thought would have never abandoned them has abandoned them. Those who they thought would have never hurt them has hurt them. Those who they thought would have never disappointed them has disappointed them. That which they wanted for others has come upon them. But for you who have been faithful. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. You have been faithful. I prophesy. The power of God is releasing upon us now. And by the Spirit of the Living God, we lift off the old mantle. Come on, lift off the old mantle. Come on, take it off. We take off the old garment, the old mantle of 2019. And say, Lord, I put on the new mantle for 2020. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't know that prophetically. You can't go in new year with the old white skin so people say you can get this for 20 no you gotta say lord i take off the old mantle that means 2020 2019 is finished the mantle that was on me to carry out the assignment this year i can't use that in 2020 say lord i put on a new armor i put a new armor for 2020 I take off the old 2019. See that 2019 have dents? If you have on an armor and you have your old sword, you're gonna chop up so much that sword rust. That sword might have broke. Your guard broke it. You need a new armor. You need a new helmet. Come on, put it on Lord, I put on a new helmet. A new breastplate of righteousness. A new armor, new new loins, new feet, new arms, new new strength. Lord, I put on a new garment of praise. I take off the garment of heaviness. Come on, take off that heavy garment for 2019. Ooh, it was heavy. It was heavy. Take off the heaviness. Lord, prophetically, I take off the old garment of heaviness and I put on the garment of praise. 
Come on, I take off the garment of poverty and I put on the garment of wealth. I take off the garment of shame. Come on, take it off. I take off the garment of rejection. Hallelujah. Every rejection that was projected toward me, I strip it off now. I take off rebellion. I take off unforgiveness. I take off bitterness. I take off shame and disgrace. I take off tiredness. I take off weariness. And I put on the joy of the Lord, which is my strength. I put on the whole armor of the Lord. I put on the glory of the Lord. Come on, I take off shame and I put on the glory. I put on the glory. I put on the kingdom. Luke 17 and 21 says, the kingdom is in you. Come on, touch your stomachs and say, kingdom of God, arise in me. For my assignment in 2020. Come on, touch your eyes and say, I have clarity of vision. Mm, I can see clearly uh, that the Lord will give me the spirit of understanding uh, and of revelation that the eyes of my understanding be enlightened. Uh, come on, touch your eyes. Uh, that your eyes be enlightened. Uh, touch your ears. Uh, that your ears be open uh, to the voice of the Spirit of God uh, like never before. Uh, for they that are led by the Spirit, uh, they are the sons of God. Shout no weapon form against me. Say disease and pestilence shall be far from my house. In 2020, I shall see the Lord God. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Surely uh, you will guide my feet. Uh, say, Lord, order my steps. Uh, in 2020, Lord, uh, let your word be a lamp unto my feet uh, and a light unto my path. Uh, Lord, lighten my path uh, that I may see clearly the traps, the snares, the gins uh, of the enemy. But Lord, also uh, lighten my path that I may walk in your will. Uh, I may walk in your purpose. Uh, Lord God, arise. Say, Lord, arise and let my enemies be scattered. Come on, ask the Lord to scatter your enemies now. I'm going to close with war. Come on, do that warfare. Lord, scatter my enemies from 2019. Scatter them, my enemies. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered seven ways. Let them be scattered. Let them come in one way and be scattered a thousand ways. Let them be tormented and confused. Let them be brought to desolation. Scatter my enemies of 2019, Lord, and bring me into divine favor of 2020. I speak into 2020, and I say, Lord, scatter my spiritual enemies. Lord, shoot out your arrows against them. Shoot out your displeasure against them. Send your sword, your arrow, and your spear against them. Lord, clear my way for 2020 and beyond. Lord, clear out the path of the wicked. Uproot them from the land of the living. Destroy their destructive ways. Lord, destroy their hidden secrets. Destroy their hidden traps. Destroy their words. I rebuke the accuser of the brethren of your life and mine. Into 2020, I shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. With long life, you shall satisfy me and show me your salvation. Come on and prophesy over your own life. I prophesy over 2020. It shall be a year of fruitfulness. Enjoy the abundance of the Lord manifesting clear kingdom vision for this generation and the generation to come. I prophesy that I will grow in the world. I will establish a kingdom lifestyle with my family. I declare I will establish divine foundations in my life as it relates to my health, my wealth, my spiritual fervor for years to come in 2020. I declare I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and never beneath. Declare to yourself I am limitless in God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he that is within me that is he that is in the world I'm prophesying to myself you better prophesy the word I'm 
soon I'm blessed going out, I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed in this city, I'm blessed in this country, I'm blessed when I go out, I'm blessed when I come in. I'm blessed everywhere my feet tread. I am blessed, I am a son of God. I am led by the Spirit that works up, come on, prophesy. The works of my hands are blessed, my words are blessed. My mind is blessed. I wish uh, above all things that I will prosper and be in good health even as my soul prospers in 2020. Everything I do will be prosperous. Everything I do shall be blessed. Hallelujah. Strangers shall give unto my bosom. I will manifest my greatness in 2020. Come on, give God praise. Come on, let me just raise your hands and praise him. Come on, raise your hands and praise him. Raise your hands and praise him. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you need to finish praying. This is our prophetic sermon, so you know how prophetic goes. You might as well get on your feet, get on your knees, stretch out in this room and begin to worship. Because as we worship, the Spirit of the Lord will continue to speak to us. Honey, I'm free right now. I'd rather be in the house of God than the house of the bar. I'd rather be in the house of the Lord than be in the house of kings. Hallelujah. As you begin to praise Him, victory is coming upon you. Some of you shake off the heaviness of 2019. Come on, shake it. Come on, shake, man. Shake off the heaviness. Shake off the tiredness. Shake off the fear. Shake off the defeat. And shake in your strength that you need. Amen. In Jesus' name. So I pray. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone listening and watching under the sound of my voice. Give me that. Jesus. I thank you for waiting and being in the presence of the Lord. Sometimes you got to prophesy yourself with your blessing. Hallelujah. If no, you don't need a prophet only. The prophet is to get you to prophesy over your own life. Because by March 2020, if I'm not around, at least you know how to prophesy over your life. At least you know how to rebuke the devil and cast him the hell out. At least you know how to deal with your spiritual enemies. You know how to be favored of God and get what is new to you. You know how to defend your family. You know how to fight for what God has given you. So as a prophet, I didn't come only to prophesy to you. I came to give you the tools and the techniques of warfare that you will manifest the kingdom of God in your life. So as you lift up your hands, Father, right now I declare over everyone, come on, open your mouth, don't stop prophesying. Don't wait on me. Prophesy over your own life. Yes, over your own family. I prophesy. Shalabakande. Shalabakande de Dio Si. Shalabakande de Dio Si. Shalabakande de Dio Si. I receive my own strength in my life and my own family. I receive strength upon my own wife and my own child and children. I receive strength for my own ministry calling. I receive strength in my profession and my vocation. I receive strength to carry out everything that you put in my possession to manage. I take dominion over it. I walk in divine dominion. I walk in divine purpose. Hallelujah. And I speak it over every one of you today. And I say, devil, go to hell because these are victorious people. I declare I shall live holier than I've ever lived in 2020. Come on, say it loud. I shall live holy. Uh-huh, don't be afraid. I declare this will be my most righteous year. I will live. I will do more according to the word of God than I've ever done before any time in my life. And I will see the blessing of the Lord. I declare that over every one of you listening or watching, this is going to be the most righteous year. This is going to be the holiest year. This is going to be the most blessed year. If you surrender to the Holy Ghost, you have two days to cleanse your life. Get your life cleansed. Get your life in order. 
For some people that are in their cleansing life, the Lord is going to take them over into 2020. Bless. Some people who still want to play with the devil and play with God, He's going to just call them home into glory. God ain't playing around. God has spoken once, twice. Power belongs to God. The Spirit of God will not always strive with man. He, he, ha, the word of the Lord. There are some people who attack the church in 2019, the true saints of God. The Lord have something for them before this year is out. They got two days to repent. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some people who are wrong from some people of God. They got two days. And then you're going to see the judgment of God raging through the city and nation. Watch God. Like the prophet of God. You hear me today? There are some people who have some plots. They're going to fall into the same plot they have yes. stand for the people of God. Yes. There's some banks who withheld some money from the people of God. It ain't the bank, it's the people who work in there. The same people. Watch what God will do to some people. You're going to have a moving of God. God is going to send His power and His mighty warring angels. And they're going to move through banks. They're going to move through uh, corporations. They're going to move through all levels of organizations. And God is going to weigh the balance of what was done to his righteous people and he's going to vindicate his people. Hear ye the word of the Lord. The Lord is going to move through some families and he's going to vindicate and he's going to bring judgment to those who mishandle them. We can't die, shut up our seal. Huh? He said the Lord for the hard cry huh, has come up from some of his people huh, who are being hurt, rejected, neglected, despised, huh, and offended by those even huh, in their own family. And the Lord say, I'm going to move. Huh? And when I move, not even you who've been hurt will be able to stop my hand of judgment. Huh? For I am angry huh, with the wicked they have done against huh, the righteous, said the Lord. There's some family members who did you wrong. I'm sorry for them. They have before that clock ticks over. Because the wrath of God is going to pour down upon some of them. And not even you are going to be able to stop it. It's going to sweep through. Prepare. Prepare. Your prayers will not help them. Your prayers will not deliver them. But in the time of crisis when they should have been there, they weren't there for you. Hallelujah. God said that's wickedness to him who know it to do good and do it not to him it is what? Sin. If you know to do good to someone in their crisis or in their time of need to help them and you withhold your hand from doing it, God says sin unto me. If I know you're hungry and you're a brother in Christ and I refuse to feed you, it's sin. Amen. You don't need to fast and perfect. If you're my sister in Christ and you are thirsty and I don't give you water and I say, the word of God said, James said, you say, go be in peace. I pray for you. God says, it's a sin. Say, uh, for the Lord said, many uh, have a false sense of Christianity, but I'm going to judge uh, this false Christianity that people put this mass on uh, because they don't have my love. The Lord said, the love has waxed cold among many who call themselves Christians. They are cold hearted. Selfish, self-centered. Only when it's going to bless them, they reach out to you. But God said, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to show some people, I have my hand upon you. And the opportunity they had to bless you, to get a blessing on their life, God said, the season of time has closed. It is closed. The season and the time they had to bless you and to help you, the time is closed. Because I knocked at their heart and they refused. Say ye, the word of the Lord. Yea, even in Grand Bahama, there are some righteous, even in this land, who've been praying. And those even in other places, in other islands, they had the opportunity to show the love of Christ. And they didn't do it. They had to come from far and wide. People of a different country, a different nation, a different uh, nationality, a different even color to help. Hallelujah. It's a shame that other people had to come from other nations to help their own people. Hallelujah. But God said, I'm going to move on. On that it is a shameful thing and the Lord is well displeased with it mm. you know, churches in this country who could help people right here and they turn their backs on them and close up their heart I tell them uh, yeah you hear it uh, even you do in Nassau uh, whatever island, island you on uh, and you refuse uh, to even send a dollar to help your own brethren in Christ uh, the Lord is well displeased you can tell any pastor that I don't care. God bless me and I ain't afraid of none. Some of you are watching right now. Tell them I say it. It's wicked. 
Your brothers in Christ here in Abaco suffer great loss. And not even a call, not even a prayer, not even a bottle of water you send to help your brothers in Christ. And you think God will use you and please with you? You will fail God. You fail to have an opportunity to help those in their most critical time of need. But the year is done and God sent provision and all is well now. Your opportunity. But guess what? Your opportunity, your time will come too. Watch God. This 2020 is going to come. Everyone, when this is our time, God then bring us out. The others be prepared. Your time coming. It might be a flood, it might be fire, it might be something else, but you will have no one to call upon to intercede for you. But Psalm 41, we started by reading, God said, Blessed are those who consider the poor, for he shall raise you up. He'll heal you when you're sick. He'll defend you. Read Psalm 41 and see what it says. He refused to help the poor and needy. But God has sent help. Hey, ye, Grand Bahama, God has sent help. All you have to do is open your heart to me, said the Lord, and I will send provision. Hey, ye, the word of the Lord. And all will be well with the people of God. Already, it is all well. Three months pass, and it is all well. In fact, for some people, this is the best time of their life. For the Lord has sent provision after provision, more than what they need, to reestablish them and push them into the future. This is what God had to use to send $30 million worth of money to send to businesses. You know how many businesses got grants and money and finances they didn't have even before? What did the word of God say? He's going to send economic financial release. And the Lord said those ministries that stayed faithful to me over these last few months, in 2020, the Lord said ministries from Grand Bahama are going to be global ministries. Say global. 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 The ministries from this land, from this place, because of the what God took the ministries and the men and women of God through. And they serve and they give. Get ready. The spirit of giving, the spirit of prosperity, the spirit of favor, the spirit of faith has become upon the true church of Grand Bahama. And guess what? God is going to use some ministers and leaders from this place to impact the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's going to bring shame to the other places. We raise us up in this hour. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord preserve your going out and coming in from this day forward. May the Lord sustain you. May he be a God to you and an enemy to your enemies. May he cover you and may he keep you. Not only from this day, but this day forth and even forevermore. In Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. God bless you, all you who listen and watch. God bless you. Go out here celebrating today. Prepare for tomorrow's service again as we continue our testimony and prophetic meetings. Hallelujah. One more. Hallelujah. And then on Tuesday, hallelujah, watch night. We're coming in early and we're going to have an early watch night. We're going to celebrate and praise the Lord and pray. Invite someone. Come on out. Hallelujah. Someone's soul is depending on it. Bring someone out, invite them. Even if they don't come, you've made an effort to invite them to be in the house of the Lord. God bless you. We love you and greet you in Jesus' name. Shalewa and I send our love and blessing to you. Thank you all those who've listened and watched. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord. Put on some nice worship as we leave the presence of the Lord. Amen.